A couple of weeks ago, Gemini completed Pokemon Blue, bringing us one step closer to achieving API, artificial Pokemon intelligence. Alphabet just held their 2025 Google I.O. Developer Conference, and they made one thing very clear. They're not just reacting to the AI race. They're preparing to win it, quietly, methodically, and with a war chest of nearly $100 billion in cash. While OpenAI and others make headlines, Alphabet is integrating AI directly into the tools billions of people already use every day. Search, Android, YouTube, and Gmail. Google is one of the most dominant businesses in the world, but more importantly, it's one of the most consistent. The kind of company that rarely makes noise, but quietly compounds earnings, free cash flow, and shareholder value. At Google I.O. 2025, Alphabet revealed a lot. But instead of making vague promises about the future of AI, they showed what they've already built and what's already live in their products. They rolled out Gemini 2.5 Pro and Gemini Flash, two AI models that outperform GPT-4 in certain benchmarks and run significantly cheaper. Gemini 2.5 Pro is our most intelligent model ever and the best foundation model in the world. Just two weeks ago, we shipped a preview of an updated 2.5 Pro so you could get your hands on it and start building with it right away. I'm thrilled to announce that we're releasing an updated version of 2.5 Flash. The new Flash is better in nearly every dimension, improving across key benchmarks for reasoning, code, and long context. I'm excited to say that Flash will be generally available in early June with Pro soon after. Gemini is now integrated into Google Search for US users. And that's a big deal, because Google isn't just experimenting with AI. They're embedding it into Search, the product that generated over $175 billion in ad revenue last year alone. They also introduced Gemini Live and Project Astra, which bring multimodal voice and vision capabilities to Android devices, essentially giving your phone real-time intelligence. That's a pretty nice convertible. I think you might have mistaken the garbage truck for a convertible. Is there anything else I can help you with? What's this skinny building doing in my neighborhood? It's a street light, not a building. Why are these palm trees so short? I'm worried about them. They're not short. They're actually pretty tall. Why do people keep delivering packages to my lawn? It's not a package. It's a utility box. Why is this person following me wherever I walk? No one's following you. That's just your shadow. All of these upgrades are built on Google Cloud, which itself is now profitable and growing over 28% year over year. But how does all of this translate into business performance? Let's break down how Alphabet makes money. Alphabet operates as a holding company. Google is its core asset, but there are other businesses inside the company as well. There are three main segments, Google services. This is Search, YouTube, Gmail, Android, Google Maps, Chrome, the Play Store, and hardware like Pixel. This is where the bulk of the revenue comes from, Google Cloud. This is a fast-growing business that includes Google Cloud Platform and Workspace. It now serves enterprise clients across AI, data, and software solutions. They also have moonshots, companies like Waymo, Verily, and DeepMind. They're high risk, high reward, and mostly not profitable. In 2024, Alphabet brought in $337.7 billion in total revenue. Google services made up $283 billion, or about 84% of that. Google Cloud contributed $44 billion, with over $4 billion in operating income, marking its first year of sustained profitability. Other bets brought in just $1.5 billion and lost over $5 billion. The main driver is advertising specifically search ads and YouTube ads. When you search for a product or watch a video, Google makes money through ad impressions and clicks. It's a simple model at the surface, but the scale is almost impossible to replicate. Even with increased competition, Google Search maintains over 90% market share globally. What makes Alphabet special isn't just its size, it's its margins. In the first quarter of 2025, gross margin was 55.8%. Operating margin was 32.4%. Free cash flow was $16.8 billion in just one quarter. These are exceptional numbers. High margin revenue from search subsidizes riskier bets like AI, cloud, 
and even self-driving cars. Alphabet also returned over $15 billion to shareholders through buybacks and introduced a modest dividend for the first time this year, yielding about 0.48%. This is a wide moat business. Search is deeply embedded into daily life, with over 8.5 billion searches per day. YouTube has over 2.7 billion users and is the number two search engine in the world behind Google itself. Android powers over 70% of smartphones worldwide. Google Maps, Gmail, and Chrome dominate their categories with little real competition. And now, Gemini is becoming the underlying AI layer across all these products. That's important because it means Alphabet doesn't need to win the AI race the way OpenAI or Anthropic does. It just needs to integrate AI into the infrastructure people already use. Of course, Alphabet isn't risk-free. There's regulatory risk. The DOJ is pursuing antitrust lawsuits that could impact the ad business. There's AI competition from Microsoft, Amazon, Meta, and new players like XAI. And there's concentration risk, with most of the company's revenue still coming from ads. But Alphabet has a habit of adjusting. They did it during the mobile transition. They're doing it again in the AI era. And most importantly, they have time, talent, and capital on their side. As at the time of this recording, Alphabet currently trades at around $168 per share, giving it a market cap of $2.08 trillion. It's expected to earn $8.67 in EPS this year. That gives it a forward P.E. ratio of 19.5. Free cash flow yield is around 4.3%. Net cash is $98 billion, with almost no debt. Compared to Microsoft, which trades at 34x forward earnings, Alphabet looks reasonably priced, especially for the quality of the business. Out of 43 analysts covering the stock, the consensus is a buy. The average price target is $200.66, implying a 19.11% upside from current levels. Even conservative estimates put fair value around $190 to $200. In other words, it's not a cheap stock, but it's not expensive for the quality you're getting. Alphabet is one of the few companies that can afford to invest heavily in AI without compromising its core business. It's making real progress with Gemini, and it's doing it at scale. The stock isn't going to double overnight. But for long-term investors looking for durable growth, strong free cash flow, and high-quality leadership, it still checks all the boxes. And it's still one of the few companies that could compound value quietly in the background for the next decade or longer. I continue to hold Alphabet in my portfolio, and I plan to add more over time. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I cover high quality businesses and how they build long-term value. Let me know what you think about Alphabet in the comments below, especially with all the new AI developments. Until next time.